Hello my fellow admins and welcome back to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Jira software version. So uh, let's start. Before going to the right steps of upgrading your Jira software version, we need to do some steps before, right? So we have to plan our upgrade and we have some uh, prerequisite steps that we need to take care of before going to this uh, uh, upgrade mode, right? So uh, I'm going to do uh, just that and go into my Jira and this is what you need to do. And from here you go into the administration and here in the application section you have plan your upgrade. You click on it and here you need to check uh, if the pre-upgrade checks are fine. So you just need to click on this arrow. All pre-upgrade checks have passed for my case. If you have any issues here, you need to uh, resolve them right but everything is fine for me here and the next step is to go into troubleshooting and support tools here you need to uh, check your instance health uh, if you have something regarding security vulnerabilities just get passed by it doesn't matter because usually you are doing a jira upgrade because of some security vulnerabilities that were like uh, mentioned uh, by atlassian right but if the rest of the uh, section from the health checks are fine you are fine, right? So um, next step is to check our apps. So you need to go into the manage apps and here uh, go in, uh, again in manage apps section. And here you need to check if your uh, versions of the installed apps will be compatible with your Jira version that you want to go through, right? So we have, so at the bottom of the page, you have, if you have many add-ons here, you need to scroll down to the bottom of the page and below everything you have this Jira update check. You click on it and here you need to select the version that you want to upgrade to, right? Because uh, we care about this version if you want to upgrade. So you need to check here for this uh, uh, for this Jira update check, right? So I personally don't like going for the download latest version if it's not security vulnerability, right? If it's a security vulnerability, you usually have that version mentioned by Atlassian that it's secure to go through, right? But I'm just upgrading Jira for the sake of upgrading it. And I'll choose the long-term support version. And if I scroll down a bit here, so what you want to go through is to this atlassian.com slash software slash Jira slash update. And here you have the download the latest, but you need to check the archive versions, which are view all versions of Jira. But the latest version for the long-term support is 9.12.8 and I'm going to download this and I need for Windows because we are doing this for Windows. I'm submit submitting and now I have uh, my uh, version uh, downloaded and I need to go uh, for the next steps. So now everything is set to done. We can begin the process. Uh, before beginning the process, I just suggest to stop Jira, right? So I'm going here and I'm just stopping Jira, stop Jira. And now I need to check if everything is fine. So if I'm going, you see the Jira was stopped and we are perfectly fine now. Now what we need to do is to uh, start this upgrading process with the file that we downloaded. And uh, I have it already prepared here on uh, on my desktop. Before going into this, I also need to make sure that I'm closing the Tomcat. And here also to uh, close this. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be in the Atlassian file using your common prompt because then you'll be prompted with an error in the installation process because you have like a window opened in the Windows case, right? But here, if you are using the common prompt, you're actually opening that folder, right? So that folder is in use, so you cannot go past to all the, those steps in the upgrading process, right? So I have the file here. And one important thing here is that you need to uh, start this to open this as an administrator. So you just right click on it and run as administrator. And after that, we follow the next steps and you'll be prompted with, are you sure about this? You just click yes. And now the installation wizard started uh, and we need to wait until we get our window. Okay, we have it here. Welcome to Jira software. So what we need to do is just click next. Let me do this thing bigger here so it's visible. Uh, next, 
here upgrade an existing Jira installation because this is what we want to do and make sure your existing installation directory is correct. Here is correct. So you just click next. Here is important steps. Uh, I usually check this backup Jira home directory because in this process of upgrading, this installation will also back up your Jira home directory. Uh, but I also recommend doing the backup of your database bef uh, besides this, because you want to, me to be 100% sure that your backup is completely fine. And in case of something goes wrong, you have all the backups necessary, right? So I have uh, a video on my channel on how you can back up uh, your uh, uh, MySQL database. I use MySQL, so that's how that video was created. But if you're using other uh, databases, just make sure your um, back up, you back up your uh, database because that's super important, right? So in this step, you just checkbox here, backup Jira home directory. You just click next, and now we need to wait for the uh, checks to be made and. Just wait. So this step could take uh, a few minutes, so you need to be patient with this. And now all the checks were uh, finished, right? It took around three, four minutes for uh, for me here. Uh, so here we have the window of upgrade checklist, right? We did uh, Jira health check. We checked the app compatibility. Here you need to back up the database, uh, right? And also um, you have the to do these steps, right? So you need to make sure that everything is here and you just checkbox here. It's already checked, right? I've completed all the steps and you just need to click upgrade here. Just make sure that at this step you have your Jira stopped, right? So everything will, uh, will go smooth, right? So you just click on upgrade. And now the installation of Jira software is complete and we uh, so this is an important steps uh, step here, right? You don't check this box start Jira software uh now because we are using a mysql database right and for this if you're using an oracle or mysql database you need to have a connector inside the lib folder on your home direct on your jira home directory right so we need to add that uh file there and after that we can start manually ourselves right so you unbox this if you are using an oracle or mysql uh, database you just untick this and you just click next and now it says that your installation of jira software and the version number is now ready. So you just click finish and uh, you wait a bit for this window to disappear. Okay, and now that uh, window disappeared and we are set to go, but as I said, we need that MySQL connector file in the lib folder uh, on Jira home directory in order for us to have like a, a good start of our Jira, right? Because it will not work after, because of that. So what we need to do is to go into our home directory Right, so here I have Atlassian, home directory, I have application data, Jira, and here you can see the backups here, the backup folder. If you go into application data, there is also for this folder a backup. But we need to go uh, uh, back, we need to go into Atlassian. And here, if you go in Jira and in lib folder, you can see all of these jar files, but there isn't any MySQL connector here because it was removed by the upgrade. And what we need to do now is to go back and back again. You go into this backup that was created by this upgrade uh, installation and you need to open this folder, the backup folder, right? So I'm opening this and inside this, you will find your old uh, MySQL connector because you are using, if you are using MySQL, you have that connector and you need to go in lib. And here you need to scroll and you can see this MySQL connector and this version jar. If you did don't like if you are upgrading and your and this version is not compatible with the version of Jira that you're going through, you need to download this from the web, right? So you need to go here into uh, MySQL download connector center and here you need to choose the platform independent and here you have the uh, zip uh thing that you can download and basically here you have this uh mysql connector but i already had a version that is compatible with the version of jira that i'm going for right so i'm using the one from the backup uh, so let me go back into this uh, uh, zip file and here i'm just going to right click on it and extract to a specific folder 
and now I need to find it here program files Atlassian and in Jira you just select lib click OK and now it was extracted there and now if we go back into this folder we just go in Jira lib and we can if you scroll down we can see MySQL connector 8.3.0 right so now we have this so happy days so what we need to do is to go into the command prompt as an administrator and basically you need to start Jira right so let me uh, find in the history uh, the opening of this folder and we just start Jira and now the Tomcat has started and basically you can see here the logs that uh, Jira will start and we need to wait a bit until uh, Jira will be ready. As soon as, as you can see the starting the Jira plugin system, you can also check on your browser. So if we refresh this page, we can see the page of Atlassian Jira is starting up and it's basically loading all apps. It's exactly when you are starting Jira or restarting it, you have this uh, part here. So what we need to do is to wait now and eventually see if we upgrade it successfully. And voila, we have our login page and we just log in now. Jira started successfully. So as you can see now in the bottom of Jira, we have 9.12.8 version. So we upgraded successfully for this version. And if we check our manage apps section, we can see that the manage apps looks good if you see any incompatibility thing or you, you have like any option to upgrade to uh, uh, to the latest version of your plugins I recommend doing that uh, it's safer to have after your upgrade to have to make sure that you have all your add-ons on your uh, latest version of course and uh, basically that's it you usually also get prompted with uh, uh, upgrade successful page right uh, but I didn't got upgraded, uh, prompted here. I don't know why, uh, usually that doesn't happen, but it's successfully like that page is usually, usually something that, uh, you are like informed of with the no uh, release notes or something like that. Right. Uh, I think I have it somewhere here. Uh, if I'm checking, yeah. So usually you get welcome to the Jira version. You have what you need to know, application links, blah, blah, blah right. So you have all the informations here just take me to Jira, right? So uh, for us, we didn't get prompted to this uh, for that page. It happened to me uh, before, but it's not a big deal, right? So don't care about this. What you need to do uh, after your upgrade to uh, update your add-ons to the latest versions. And the last step that you need to do is to run a full re-index after your upgrade. And you're basically set and done. So what you need to do is go is to go to go into the system section on the reindex page, or you just uh, press dot from your keyboard and you just be prompted with this shortcut and you just type here indexing and you go in the indexing page and here you do just do a full reindex. So confirm for reindex, reindex right. So this will take. A long time to finish right if you have like this is like a small instance right so it was finished instantly for me and i just acknowledge but for you if you have a lot of stuff in your jira instance it could take a while right but this is the last step that you need to do uh after your upgrade but you can see it was upgraded successfully and uh, that was it for this video if you don't have any other uh thing to do after this if it's successful it is and uh, if you have any questions related to this topic or any other topic, you can uh, comment down below in this video. I also have a GitHub repository with a lot of scripts, script runner scripts to customize your Jira. And those are like public free to use. So you can uh, check that also. Uh, but I don't know if you have like a lot more questions than your uh, comment section from YouTube is not enough. You can also join our Discord community. You ha we have a small community and if you need help there, we can jump in and for sure. And that was pretty much it. If you like this video, just like it. Uh, subscribe will also help and uh, until next video. Peace.